Wow, the Rangers, and AJ, I'm sure you could back me up on this, the Rangers were not good five on five against Pittsburgh, so they're going to be relying heavily on their special teams, Jeff. Yeah, they are. Um, God, I, I, I really like the Rangers as well. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the favorites here, and you kind of mentioned it. It's not that I, I don't think that the Rangers are, are a great young team, and I, I think Shesterkin could absolutely win this series for them. I'm just worried. This, this is one I'm just looking at the stats on the page and basically just being like, I'm just not sure if the Rangers have what it takes here because they're going to be relying on their on their power play a lot. And it's it's a tough thing against the Hurricanes, who are very good in that area. They're extremely good five on five. They got the good depth. But, you know, the goaltending in this series could, could play a huge factor, obviously, with, with Anderson out. I, I mean, if, if you're betting this series, you, you probably want to take the Hurricanes in some kind of series spread, like minus 1.5. I think that's probably my favorite bet. I think if you're playing it straight up, I would almost just lean with the Rangers as well. So again, a series where you can look at it two different ways. I, I like the Rangers, or the, excuse me, I like the Hurricanes in six, probably uh, minus 1.5 to cover there. But playing the Rangers straight up, I really don't think is a, is a bad bet either. Um, if Shesterkin comes out, plays plays great, or, or Ranta, you know, you know, regresses a little bit, this series will be really close, and the Rangers will have a shot again. So again, another series, kind of a couple different ways to play it. I do like the, the Hurricanes in six, so minus 1.5 on the spread.